Hi everyone, it's me. Uh, this one's going to be a compilation, uh, some really short, and then we're going to finish off with a, a lovely long one um, that will lead to a part two, 100%. So first of all, I want you to make Seth MacFarlane Wood, because <laughs> that's how we do our names. Hello, finish, he says to me. I said, hello there, Wood. Are you a fan of Seth then? Is me Seth MacFarlane? He informs me. I said, is it now? I find that hard to believe. Okay, he said. Never stop watching my TV series. I'm too busy to talk, he said. I said, you're a fake is what you are and now you're running. Bye and never stop watching my creativity, says our scammer who realised that it was done. I said, it's night over there, that's why, referring to him running. Okay, he says. I went, Mogul, that's what you are, a big one. And to response to that's what you are, I said, lol, you just gave yourself away, idiot. Lol, he says, mumu in return, which also means fool. And off he poddled and blocked me from his account. This one's super, super short, but meet Damien Lucas, who actually does have an IMDB page. He's a gaffer right? He does various jobs and he's only worked on maybe three films. There's no photo on there. So obviously the gentleman in the photo that you see with John Bon Jovi is not Damien Lucas. Hello, he says, I am Damien Lucas, personal assistant to Mr. John Bon Jovi. I'm here on his behalf to select special fans who supported him on social media, either by posting, uh, liking, tracking and promoting his content online. I said, hi there, please send proof of affiliation to John for verification. Thank you. You can literally see my profile. I am the person in the picture, said our scammer who just was indignant that I didn't believe everything that he'd posted. And you could click my link for more validation. And it was a safe link and it was only for this gentleman's IMDB page. I said, and I checked your link. No affiliation to Bon Jovi or IMDB. Uh, on IMDb, maybe for lighting or production, you're not a personal assistant, plus it's a Chinese page. So there's no photo on it, plus Damien is a gaffer. I know all this, madam. You still haven't given a valid point, he says. I said, so how are you a personal assistant and a gaffer? That's nonsensical and just Picking a random name from an IMDb with a pic from the internet doesn't legitimize who you are. You, sir, have provided zero proof of any affiliation to John by your own claims. In fact, I just searched that photo. You know where it was taken and who that is in the picture with John, which he ran off and has not been back, and I, I doubt he'll come back. Because I did, I did do a reverse image search, even though Google's really poor, and it was taken at a, a some sort of football game in Ireland somewhere, and, and that guy I think's a fan, unless you guys recognise him. <laughs> so um, I don't think he'll come back, so I'll probably delete this one too. This one happened this morning. Meet Lisa Williason, um, and she may come back, right? Um, and I weirdly think that this one might do so. Hello, she says. My name is Lisa, and I happen to be among William Shatner's team. I am here because William instructed me to help him create a little social awareness for his fans regarding those imposters on the internet impersonating him, my team, and the other celebrities. I want you to know that he will never open a random Instagram or Facebook account to message any of his fans because it is against the policy of his management. Secondly, he is too busy for that, so please, you guys should debunk any person pretending to be him on Instagram. He has only one Instagram account the one with the blue tick, in brackets, verified account, and it's controlled by his team for sponsorship and management purposes only. And in this case, it is true, William Shatner does not control his own Instagram account. It is only for promotional stuff, but nevertheless, this is all nonsense. I said, yes, he's already made several posts about fake Shatners as well as fake managers and assistants, saying nobody will ever reach out through these apps for any reason. Yes? She responds, he said that. Thanks for your response, Julia. How are you doing over? <laughs> How are you doing over? 
And in response to yes, he said that. I said, so why then contradict himself and send someone anyway? Hardly seems plausible. I'll need some proof of your affiliation to back up your own statements. Thank you. And because they'd gone away for about seven minutes, I said, no, lol, didn't think so. At which point she returns. One possibility is that they had a change of heart or reevaluated the situation. Initially, they may have been against sending someone due to concerns or uncertainties. However, upon further consideration, they might have realized the importance or necessity of having someone fulfill a specific task or address a particular issue. <laughs> to which I went apropos of nothing. What is all that? And did you get your checks mixed up? And then I reread it and realized that she was actually responding to my query as to why William Shatner would now send management. I said, that was total word salad, which is still not in any way proof of your affiliation to the above mentioned actor. I understand, she says, how you feel about this, and I would feel the same way if I were you, because I know there are many imposters on the internet impersonating William, my team, and the community members on the internet, but I want you to know that this is 100% real. I'm on William PR team, and he asked me to reach out to you. <laughs> English was slipping. I said, again, please send some form of proof of affiliation. Just saying loudly that you are not, uh, that you are real is not deemed proof. Surely you can see that as a reasonable, intelligent person. Now, she saw that 20 minutes ago, and I don't know if they're going away to make up a fake chat. They might. If they do, I'll just add that in as a little short maybe or something, but I'm not going to engage any further with this nonsense. <laughs> now, this one's more cautionary. So Barbara Moore, who uh, claims to be from Interpol, tried to follow me. I said, why is Interpol trying to follow me on Instagram? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Hello, she says. I'm Barbara Moore and I work for the International Criminal Police Organization, Interpol. I'm working on a case that involves identity theft, credit fraud, romance scam, investment fraud, email phishing, and any cyber-related fraudulent activity. Have you been contacted by any suspicious account or been a victim to any? Said our scammer involved in all of the above. I said, please send your identification for verification. Thank you. Which she love-hearted. I said, yes, yes, heart the comment. However, from Interpol's own website, they make a statement that they do not message nor contact people on social media and that anyone claiming to be Interpol are fakes. So please send the requested identification. Thank you. Sorry, she says. Interpol don't give out their identification. If you have any problem related to what I just told you, kindly give me a feedback. So I sent her a, a quote from Interpol's own Instagram page, which I do follow, by the way, um, around fakes. I said, then you are a fake. There is my feedback. And all international agencies and agents have official identification, which is provided upon request. Or do you not know this? Yes, but we also have a private agency who do this secretly, she tries to say. <laughs> So this is a secret agent with her name and her profile picture on Instagram hitting up random people. Very bad at her job, this agent. I said, no, you're part of nothing. Okay, thanks. Have a good day, she said. I said, and reporting this account to Interpol will lead to more than just Insta taking it down, which I've now done. The entire conversation has been sent to Interpol. Enjoy your life in jail. To which she, uh, she looked at, and as soon as she saw that, all of a sudden became Instagram user. So I just sent laughing emojis, which I knew she wouldn't see. I didn't bother reporting her at this point to Interpol. I doubt they're going to do anything. But uh, she's firmed and blocked me from her account. Now meet Seth MacFarlane, all right? So he wanted to follow me, or Ted did, going by the photo. I said, hi there, have you changed genders or are you now part of the LGBTQI plus community? Uh, oh God, I really misspelt that. I'm so sorry, guys. It was 5.30 in the morning. Please, uh, no offense to anyone from that community. Um, and that's because this profile had the pronoun set at she, it. Oh, let me have a quick look at what that is. Here we are. I will get back to Seth MacFarlane in a minute. 
I thought so. Lisa Wilson came back. Sorry, I have contacted him a few minutes ago and sent me this chat. Right. Hello, good sir. Okay, let's read this together. Hey, Lisa, how are you doing? I'm doing good, sir. I want to inform you that the lady you asked me to get in touch with doubts you uh, doubts my words. She said I should prove to her that I'm real. That's why I told you about that your... <laughs> Tell her to no doubts, to no doubt your words. Give her my private chat telegram username. I know they are some imposters claiming to be me. Really hurt me that my fans get scammed by imposters. Yes, so I will definitely do you said. Oh dear God, this is so badly done. So I will continue the video and chat with her later. So returning to Seth, and I'm so sorry if this Lisa keeps sending. I said, hi there, have you changed genders or are you now part of the LGBTQI plus community? And again, apologies for the spelling. Why should I change gender? He said. I said, I don't know. Why is your preferred pronoun listed as she dash her? I'm just asking an obvious question. Yes, it's obvious, said our scammer who had no idea what I was talking about. I said, indeed, care to clarify? Where are you from? He said. And in response to Claire to, uh, care to clarify, yes, came the response. I said, so no on the clarification. Ugh, thought it was too good to hope for. I'm from Humpty Doo in Australia. And before any non-Australians start laughing, yes, that is an actual place. It's in the Northern Territory. I care to clarify, said Seth MacFarlane. I said, okay, and nice place came his response, and into I care to clarify, I responded, question mark, question mark. I said, you know, for a verisimilitude, given the account has had 11 name changes in seven years. Okay, said our scammer. I said, wow, you are riveting, aren't you? Which I don't think he's even seen. It's after 9 p.m. in uh, Nigeria, so he may have found himself, hopefully not, another client or he's gone to bed. Now meet John Wick. Oh, I love me a John Wick. Tried to follow me. I said, is this John Wick or John Constantine or John from the Matrix or which character are we talking about here? To which he <laughs> responds, think you must a great fan of me then. This is my private account for my fans, although I don't really fancy social media. But I am into it now because my fans have been posting and many complaining that I don't give them attention. So that was the very reasons I decided to create up this account. As you can see, I don't really have much post as a celebrity. Where are you from? Why is it that always the Keanu ones are always super young and their English is really bad? I said, why would you use a character name? I'm from Genoa in Australia. Yes, fake, fake, fake name. And in response to I'm from Genoa in Australia, I see, he says. Tell me how long have you been my fan? And what's your favourites of my movies you've watched? I said, so not answering questions then. How lovely. My favourite film? Hard to say. Easier to tell you which ones I didn't like. And in response to why would you use a character name, because I love it, he says, why? And in response to not answering any questions and about his favourite film, well, I'm just trying to know y'all, my fans. I'm not that kind of a social media type, he puts in. I said, try to what with all your fans? Sorry, you didn't finish the sentence. And then he reposts, I see, tell me how long have you been my fan, question mark. And in response to, I'm not that kind of social media type, I said, yes, Keanu notoriously despises social media. Don't know about John, though. He's not the loquacious type, referring to John Wick. And to his question mark, I said, and that's a ridiculous question. Who counts their days and years by how long they've liked or disliked a random actor? It never made sense to me unless they are 12. Sorry, I don't have time for all this now, he says. Have a blessed day. I said, sure, sure, sending laughing emojis. I said, funny how you little scabs like to run when things get a little sticky. No staying power, dot, 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 dot. I don't even get ya, he says. Are you sure you're okay? 
I said, oh, I'm great. Are you, though? And adding ya into the sentence just will not do for a verisimilitude. I can't read this morning. I said, I haven't had a John Wick in some time, so I must say how disappointing it is that you just ran away so fast. Are you married with kids, he asks. I said, no and no. How old are you then? I said, 40 and you. Wow, you're just riveting, aren't you? Well, it is almost 9pm over there, so I'd imagine you're overtired from all that hard work, LOL, which he saw 40 minutes ago, so it'll be no, close to 10pm now, and he hasn't returned, so I haven't, I won't delete it yet, uh, we'll see what happens. Last but not least, I want you to meet official Gerard Butler. Hi there, how re you doing? I appreciate your continuous love. I'm glad you never stopped watching and supporting my movie. Singular. Feel free to reach out to me, love heart. For how long have you been watching my movies? With a movie camera um, emoji. I said, hi there. Eight different usernames since its inception, huh? Talking about the account. This is me, Gerard Butler, he said, who... Uh, do you think it was, he says. I said, I have no idea. As I said, there have been eight different usernames since the account's inception, so who knows? Like I said earlier, this is me. I do not have the desire to claim I'm someone else. I said, that's nice for you. How do you explain the eight different names then? To which he responds, I'm a straightforward man. To be honest, I would have felt the same way getting a text from my favourite actor. I said, favourite, if you say so, and you're still not explaining the eight different name changes on the account, or are we just ignoring that huge red flag then? If for any reasons you don't feel comfortable with this connection due to some sceptical reasons, he says, we can as well end it right away. I said, oh, I'm very comfortable. In fact, I'm all ears. This will be fascinating. Great, he says, with way too many exclamation points for any sane human being. You seem to radiate a posit positive energy which I'm kind of attracted to, fake Gerard tells me. Do you mind knowing you better, he says. I said, do I mind knowing myself better? I'm always in for some self-discovery, seeing as I radiate energy over the written word. Really, he says, again, sending three exclamation points. I said, is it a subtle radiation or more like a harsh one you'd get on a nuclear environment? To which he responds, I wouldn't state I would. <laughs> Do you normally get texts from people claiming to be me? To which I responded in I wouldn't state I would. I said, well, the nuclear type radiation is lethal. So I just want to ensure safety of all in that facet. To which he responds, that sounds fascinating. I must state I'm thrilled with your personality and, of course, your sense of reasoning. To which I responded, I don't know. I know nothing about nuclear energy. In response to that sounds fascinating. Note another three or four exclamation points. And in response to I must state I'm thrilled with your personality, I said, sense of reasonable reasoning is good. To which he responds, I would love to go deep. Where are you from? Oh, let me deal with this idiot. So he said, where are you from? After saying I would love to go deep. Sorry, I had to go and deal with that terrible Lisa. And I'll, I'll add that on to the end. And in response, I would love to go deep. I said, depth always makes my ears pop, beat altitude or when I'm spelunking. Don't you find that? And in response to where re you from, I said, Hank, Hank Moorpork in Australia. Oh, he says, sending more exclamation points. Australia is such a beautiful place. For how long have you been leaving there? I said, I haven't left yet, but I'm considering it late next year or uh, late this year or early next. I moved here a few decades ago. How long since you leaving Scotland? I said, mocking him. Really, he says, which is, must be his favourite word. Have you been to other cities, he says, referring to Australia. And in response to how long since you leaving Scotland, for quite some time, came his profound comment. 
And in response to, have you been to other cities? I said, I've been to every city in Australia and several cities elsewhere. What about you? Oh, he says, more exclamation points coming my way. Fascinating. I said, isn't it just? I have been to different cities, he says, to shoot movies. Have you watched my recent movie? I said, even Australia, that great big city, in response to him having been to different cities to shoot movies. Yeah, it is, he says. What do you do for a living? I said, I'm an English literature professor at Unseen University. I haven't seen your latest film, I must say. That's interesting. Three more exclamation points. For how long have you been an English literature professor? I said, do tell me all about it. In response to that's interesting and since university. I'm going to share it with you, he says, in response to do tell me all about it. Are you married? I said, oh, goody, I can hardly wait. And in response to, are you married? I said, not officially, but unofficially, I would say yes. It depends on the day. And we'd cross-posted, so he reposted, are you married? Question mark. I said, see above. Finish, he said. I really had a great time with you. Can we do this again? To which I responded, not my name, but okay. And sure, if you like. Great. Keeping this connection will be a great significance. Do you mind keeping this connection with you off this platform? He says, hiding his face with monkey emoji. I said, dare I ask the great significance or is it best not to, do you think? To which he responds, you can get to converse with me directly on my personal Google email account. Do you have a Google chat account? I said, naturally, you may send your email. Great. Send me an invite and get back to me on here to be sure it's you. Can you do that right now? And then sends me official Gerard Butler 2 at gmail.com. Feel free to spam it. I said, it is done. That was fast, he said. Can I get a proof of that? Take a screenshot of it and send. I said, check your chat. I'm the one who said hello. The name is Juliet. Just tap on the icon and you'll see it. At which point we move to Google Chat, which will be part two. Now, I just want to show you what I sent to our little Lisa after she sent that fake chat. So just to refresh your memory, this absolute nonsense gibberish with the terrible English. Question mark, question mark, because I was recording and didn't get back to her and I don't have the patience with this one. So I said, yes, I saw that absolute terrible effort at computer art you attempted the English, dude, the English. Like, wow, are you new at this? I'm making a t-shirt with all the terrible fake conversations I've been sent. So this will be a nice addition for that. So for that, I thank you, which you saw six minutes ago. I said, you're welcome to call me and show me your American or a Canadian ac accent and that you're female, of course, but I doubt you'll do that. She hasn't seen it yet. I'm not going to delete this because I don't think she's blocked me yet. So we'll see. I doubt this scammer who's probably a male, is even going to bother. Um, but there you have it. Uh, sorry about the back and forth at the end. Um, there will be a part two of Gerard Butler and there will be a part two of Neil Patrick Harris, though Neil Patrick Harris has proven to be incredibly boring. At least Gerard Butler's given me some conversation this morning and now he has promptly put himself to bed. So uh, another video tomorrow. Like, comment, subscribe, guys. Have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye.